and I'm sorry that you're not being truthful about me blocking you. But if you do want to talk to me, that's cool. I would be more than happy to speak with you. But I don't think you actually want to talk to me. I think you just want to be kind of petty. I can, I can jibe with some petty. Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back. Hope everybody is doing fantastic wherever you are in the world. Happy Friday. Can you guys believe it is another weekend again? Well, let me just apologize in advance because I am very, how can I even put this? I'm angry with myself. So when I get angry, I also get petty. So the reason I am angry with myself is because I felt that I needed to take time out just to slow down a little bit, but I just pushed it once again to the limit and had my back. Now, if you know back pain, you know back pain. It's the worst pain. I can't afford to be bed bound. Even my dad got upset with me today because I didn't want to listen. But at the end of the day, when you have kids, when you have a home, you've got to make sure that everything is intact. The kids are taken care of, there's food, the house is clean. That's just who I am. But anyway, getting back to this, I just made a video in regard to how Katie Joy tried to act as if she had no idea that Gwendolyn Brown actually called her out. Well, I had to make this video in response to her video calling Gwendolyn Brown basically a liar. So let me take you and show you proof of how Katie Joy is the liar and not Gwendolyn. But before that, my usual disclaimer, please do not take what I say as fact. Feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion. Also, yes, I am aware that new filings have dropped in the 7 m versus without a crystal ball lawsuit. I actually prefer to watch one of the law tubers break it down into layman's terms for us, like maybe Emily D. Baker or Uncivil. And I wish somebody would get a message to them to please cover this. And there are several, several filings. The little bit that I have seen on Twitter is juicy. And from what I have seen this evening, I actually watched a video from Nini Marie. Love her two bits. We'll leave a link to a video down in the description box. I was laughing so much. I was laughing and crying at the same time. And I'm talking about crying in pain with this back. Amber Starvick reminds me of Queen Levine from the Tati Westbrook lawsuit. Amber Starvick is on top of her game and she is a boss. Now, back to without a crystal ball. Like I said yesterday, Katie Joy did a video addressing how Gwendolyn Brown spoke the truth and called her a coward. She actually announced that she was going to make a video addressing this, which it says, Sadly, because Gwendolyn Brown's false statements about me have spread to YouTube, I will have to address this on my channel for my audience. I have nothing against this woman but she isn't being truthful about the situation. Stay tuned. Then she did release her video. First of all, she did change the title of her video from when she released it. And the clickbait title for that video was Sister Wives Gwendolyn Brown or TLC are probably going to sue me for this. Well, obviously that title wasn't clickbaiting as she thought it would. So she changed the title to Gwendolyn Brown says she hates me. Starts a Katie Joy hate page, please stop. And then under that video, she actually pinned this comment. Hi friends, thanks for stopping by. I will not delete this video and I do have a right to respond to her. Gwendolyn is not a minor. She is 21 and she is getting married this month. She is an adult. My inbox is being bombarded and so have my comments. Bullshit. I will respond when necessary and I am actually very kind to her in this video. Again, bullshit. My followers sent me the screenshots of a recent post from Patreon. I didn't even ask for them. They were just in my inbox. Also, I don't dislike Gwendolyn at all. I don't want anyone to send her hate. Thanks. Again, bullshit. Then she goes on with her video and in her video she says that whatever Gwendolyn Brown is doing is affecting her channel. How is it affecting her channel? I don't know because her channel isn't has not been doing very well for quite a while now. And then she goes and she says that or she shows the screenshot. The last time she paid for Gwendolyn Brown's Patreon of $15 was in January. 
how this whole screenshot is supposed to prove anything i don't know and then she says that she got nothing against gwen calls her a girl Gwendolyn is a young lady and she also says that she was blocked since january and she also claims to be a reporter which she is not and then she tries to prove how she did not use and share any of Gwendolyn's content that was behind a paywall at this point all i could do was think of a video that i made i think it was like six months ago of her using content of Gwendolyn behind a paywall check this out but before that listen to this so i didn't actually take anything directly from her patreon i actually found things on tiktok and on reddit uh when or showbuzz cheat sheet so showbuzz cheat sheet has a reporter that's a patron of hers that also had been reporting on stuff ahead of time from her patreon so if they were reporting something, I might report it from there. Okay, let's walk through this, okay? So from the screenshots, as you can see, this is from Without a Crystal Ball's Facebook on January 9th, to which it says, the second paragraph, Gwendolyn Brown revealed the truth recently. On a video reaction, a patron asked her about an RV that was seen in Robin Brown's driveway. This is a caption to the screenshot. Robin moved her autistic son into an RV on the driveway. And as without a crystal ball says here, Gwendolyn Brown revealed the truth recently on a video reaction a patron asked. This is on January 9th. And as you heard Katie Joy say, Gwendolyn Brown uploads her reaction videos to her patreon first so her patrons can watch it first and then she uploads it to her youtube that video i shared you in the beginning is from her patreon that she posted before it went onto her youtube channel now let's see when gwendolyn brown did upload this video to youtube so as you can see this was from season 17 episode 4 and if we go and we click on that video, it was only uploaded on January 11th, 2023. So maybe I'm the idiot here, okay? Because, and I'm sure people will let me know if I'm an idiot. So as reporting from behind the paywall, only if you use that content in a video, or as it's reporting from behind the paywall, if you also use it in a Facebook post. Because clearly, in my opinion, Katie Joy obviously used Gwendolyn Brown's content from behind a paywall. As you guys saw, Gwendolyn Brown only uploaded the reaction video to YouTube on January 11th. And nobody can come and say, oh no, I may have gotten it wrong. No, I made a video about this at that exact time. I will leave the full video in my description box. I uploaded that video a few months ago where I took note of that and I made a video about it. But, but you see what Katie Joey does? She throws people under the bus. She gaslights people just so she can come out looking like the good guy. She will throw anybody under the bus. In this case, she acted dumb. She threw showbuzz cheat sheets, whoever they are, under the bus. So she can come out looking like the good guy. I rest my case. Now, let's talk about Katie Joy's gaslighting. She knows the people that follow her, that believe her, that take her every word as fact without doing their due diligence and they blindly follow her, will believe her, but not us. No, 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 no. I will do my due diligence. I will do my research, knowing what a liar, fabricator, manipulator, Katie Joy truly is. One thing I cannot seem to wrap my mind around, there is the screenshot Gwen showed, where she knew Katie Joy was following her, but on a different account, not on without a crystal ball account, but on a Katie Joy live Twitter account, which as you can see, she made it known to Gwendolyn that that's her. So you telling me that Gwendolyn didn't try to actually reach out to Katie Joy on that account and also found out that she was blocked on that account. So Gwendolyn may be young, but she's definitely not dumb. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, I guarantee you that Gwen did reach out 
to Katie Joy and found out how she was blocked by Katie Joy on all social media platforms. So in turn, Gwendolyn took this route that she did by posting through a posting by Hilary Spivey because Katie Joy blocked her. Katie Joy is a liar. Katie Joy, aka without a crystal ball, you want to sue me for calling you a liar? Have at it, girl. I can prove so many more lies of yours. Shame on you for going after and trying to shame and convince your audience that this young lady, and might I add, a beautiful young lady, not girl, a young lady, Gwendolyn Brown, that she is a liar and you emphasize that by saying because of the way she was raised and what she was taught, that is why she is a liar. And basically she knows nothing else. Sorry guys, but I have to give a trigger warning here because I'm going to go off. I'm going to be swearing a whole lot. To those that don't like my swearing, I appreciate you for being here. I'll catch you on the next one. Katie Joy, you got some fucking nerve to even go out of your fucking way to address this on your channel for your over 300,000 viewers to see how you try to degrade, humiliate, and shame this young lady by taking several jabs at her. You went on to say how you no longer watch her because you got bored? What the fuck? This is her way of doing something for herself that gives her something by re-watching all these episodes and giving her thoughts and opinions about what she felt then to how she feels now. And you want to say you fucking got bored? You the one that lies and says that this is affecting your channel? Bullshit. The only thing that is affecting your channel is you. Your filthy, manipulative, conniving, vile, lying ass ways. You are such a coward that you will only go after people like Gwendolyn Brown, the Duggar kids, because you know that they will not retaliate to you. You know that that's why you do what you do. You are a coward. But also, shit happens in life. You never know one day, one of these young adults may just have a change of heart and finally take up for themselves and maybe take you to church and even make a stop at your bank first. Who knows? One thing you cannot do is choose your parents. Gwendolyn and her siblings did not have that choice. The Duggar kids did not have that choice. And a lot of other kids in these situations, nobody has a choice when it comes to choosing your parents, Katie Joy. You have no excuse for being the pathetic, shitty person that you are. Because you were raised in a cult. You know right from wrong. You had a good upbringing, but you chose to become a shitty person every day, all day. And the saddest thing about this is that your poor son has dealt the bad end of the stick because of his own mother who uses him, who uses what he goes through for her selfish gain to garner pity, sympathy, to use him as a shield for when she can't seem to handle people like me that spread the truth about you. You claim to be this well-educated, learned, strong woman. Bullshit, you ain't shit. Stop gaslighting people and learn to be a better human being. It may be hard at first, but it can be done. Do it for your son. At least try to write by him. I'm going to end this video by saying this. Katie Joy 100% did use Gwendolyn Brown's content from behind the paywall. I showed you the proof. Gwendolyn Brown is not the liar. Katie Joy 
aka without a crystal ball is the liar. You're going to sue me, Katie Joy, for speaking the truth and standing up for victims. Hit me up. I will be glad to send you whatever information you need to try. Thank you guys so much for watching, taking the time out. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a fantastic weekend. Please be safe out there. Be kind to one another. And don't forget, make good memories. Bye, guys.